What is going on guys, it is Blink here, back with a new guide. Also, the VBS giveaway is still going on, so make sure to visit the link in the description to enter. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as opposed to Amazon gift card code in the comments every time I upload. By turning on notifications, you have a way better chance of getting here first and redeeming that code. Anyways guys, let's get to this guide. Landing at Paradise, I find myself a drum gun and we've got a few players that landed here. I got shot at from the hotel and I spot a player running around in the middle. It's a free kill as he never picked up a weapon. The player on the hotel tried stealing the kill, so I wasn't happy about that. This player also kept constantly shooting and shooting as I looted, although I never ended up pushing because I like being pretty geared up early game before I push most opponents. Say I only had a shotgun and I went out and pushed. I get the elimination, but I get pushed shortly after by a player with max shields and a solid setup. He's now got the better chance of eliminating me and the kill I just got won't really matter if this player eliminates me. That's kind of how I like thinking about it. Early game is when you'll usually die the most and it's always because of the lack of gear you have. Every piece of loot you find is random and you want to be the first to get the best inventory possible to give you that push during early game. So after looting up I got a respectable setup and I hear two players fighting. I went in for the push because I want to try getting both eliminations. I might potentially have better health than both players because they've been fighting for quite some time. So that's just an extra benefit while pinching two players fighting. Now the first player never noticed me and he never had any shield so the elimination was pretty easy. The second player was playing quite defensively so I had a feeling his health also wasn't too great. I ended up dropping down on him as he attempted to double ramp up. All it took was one shot with the drum gun and a shotgun shot to finish off this player. The pinch worked out perfectly and I was able to fight off two players with half their HP gone. Now I rifted towards the center and spotted a player around retail rope. Got him with the critical shotgun shot and he just kept building up and up. Let me explain what I could have done to eliminate him a little quicker. So I kept following him and I tried getting over to his materials. What I could have done is stayed on my own platform and built a few stories higher than him. His building wasn't hard to keep up with and as I said, simply building my own platforms above him would have allowed me to spot him much quicker. This next player pulled up in an ATK and from the start I had a feeling it was going to be a simple elimination. The first mistake he made was getting out too late. The next mistake was that he never built after getting out. So I've explained I don't enjoy using the ATK because it's a little risky to use. Although it's great to get into the circle with but that's all I use it for. Once I hit the safe zone I get right out and keep my travels on foot. Not too far ahead we found our next opponent. Both of us spot each other and build off for that high ground. Now it got a little messy as I faced through my own floor and then I faced through my ramp. The good part about this was that he's under my ramp and he's got no clue what's coming. Replace his wall with mine and put down a trap. Now he never got hit because the trap's got a certain range on it. So I added my way down to him and he tried shooting his way out. Absolutely unlucky for him. Back to the traps. I've made a guide on it but if you guys don't know, say someone places one trap on a wall. Right away head to the opposite wall because you won't get hit. As long as you're touching that opposite wall you'll be fine. This player panicked and that's one reason why I'm letting you guys know about this. So if your opponent traps you in with one trap then you'll be okay. Take it easy and break any wall. Now if he places two traps then you might be dead as you can't really get out of that situation. I hear another player down below and it was one of them building hiders. He was kind of waiting under the stairs probably till the next circle. Unfortunately for him Blink was close by. I did take some damage but I think I'll be okay. Shortly after I get pushed by another player and we build off for that high ground. I was able to get the high ground and this player dropped down lower and waited. I also ended up dropping down to find him and the result was me taking some serious damage. Unfortunately I missed my shot and wow I don't know what shotgun he had but that felt stronger than a golden heavy. Put me down to 5 HP and I instantly dropped down lower. Now in this situation if you've got no meds but you've got a jump pad then I suggest you get out of here. I ended up staying at the lower part of the house and I waited for him to drop down that way I could get a better angle on him. Remember what I've talked about, you still want to try being aggressive if you've got a shot on your opponent. Any damage will slow him down. So right here I double ramped up because it's just required when you've got 5 HP. Got above this player and we both tried trapping each other and here's the trap example I talked about. I stand on the opposite side of where he placed his trap, destroyed it and I was able to stay alive. Was quite the fight that's for sure. Now the issue is I've still got 5 HP 
and there's an opponent up ahead. So that's not what I'd like to see. Although I was fortunate that this player had no clue what was going on and I was able to get the elimination. Although he never had bandages so my mission now is to avoid any fights I possibly can and go through any areas that have loot. These houses are all open but you still want to go through them because not everyone holds on to bandages. I don't have a lot of time to find bandages because Salty is the most populated area with loot inside the circle. And once Salty is out of the safe zone my next objective is to find player loot that's been left on the floor. And if I have no luck with that then the last thing I'd recommend you do is play a little safer and anytime you spot two players fighting go in on the pinch and try eliminating them. You want to do this before the circle gets too small because the smaller the circle the more players they'll be able to spot you. Although I can avoid all that because I found some bandages which brings me right back into the game. So up ahead I spot a player and do some solid damage to him with my pump. Now I try to get a little more aggressive to see if I can get a better angle on him and he ended up building up for that high ground as I dropped down. So I tried collapsing his structure to get him to take fall damage. As I did that, a player from the distance shot a rocket at us. Wasn't sure where it was, but I boxed myself in just in case. Make sure to reload my weapons before going back for the push. If you've boxed yourself in, then make sure your weapons are also reloaded as you don't want to be in that awkward position reloading your weapons when your opponent is right in front of you. As I pushed, I got shot down by the player in the distance. So as I fell, I was still able to place a ramp over top of my opponent's roof. What this does is prevent him from editing his roof and building higher. He can still use the sidewalls but he loses about a second which was enough for me to pressure him. He opened up the sidewall and we both had our shotguns out and I was the only one that was able to make the hit so I pushed inside for that finisher. Now the player I eliminated had a med kit and I made sure to use it as every single piece of health will help. As I backed up I spotted a player on the red house and got an easy elimination. Now let me explain what this player did wrong. First of all, let me explain what he was trying to do. He was waiting for me to either stop moving or just waiting for a better angle to shoot. Now what he did wrong was not move in and out and side to side. When you're getting ready for a snipe, you always want to make slight movements as you scope in. The moment you're ready to shoot, stop moving and take the shot. If he had moved, the shot would have been harder to hit. My recent sniper guide explains everything about movement when using the sniper if you guys want to know more. Now, I'm fully healed up and I feel good pushing this player on the hill. The hill is the best spot to be in and I want to get rid of this player that way I've got the advantage over everyone. I gotta make the push because there's still a few players left in the match and the most lethal player will be the player on the hill. Now, as he shot the rocket, you can see it backed up a little bit more to avoid the splash damage. Anytime an opponent shoots a rocket at you, you've gotta be careful because one misplaced material can result in getting eliminated. Ended up getting the elimination and now the hilltop is mine. I've now got the best spot in the circle because of the high ground advantage. Built myself a 3 story fort and as I did that I got pushed by one of the last two players. The issue for him is I know and I've got that high ground advantage. Now I do get shot from the side so I know where both players are located. I make sure to add a wall to block the player in the distance from shooting at me as I fight this closer player. The reason I built a little higher here is because the closer player was about one story lower than me. As long as you're a few stories higher than your opponent, you'll be able to spot the build up and take action with less pressure because he's now got to put in more effort to try getting above you. I just noticed I've got 24 shield and I make sure to top it off to have as much health as possible. Now the player from the distance started shooting rockets at the fort. I know I'm pretty high up so I have to drop down lower to avoid taking fall damage. As I got lower I had an angle on the closer opponent. Got off a critical amount of damage and decided to go for the finishing push. If you know you've dealt some solid damage towards your opponent then go for the push. If not then play it safer until you've done that critical damage. Now I instantly went up for the build up because I don't know if this last player is pushing towards me. Don't tunnel vision on the loot especially end game. You don't want the last opponent to catch you in the back. I started taking shots trying to bait out this opponent. Try taking out his fort because he was higher than 3 stories, so I'll be able to do a little bit of damage to him. As you shoot at your opponent's fort, expect them to peek out and apply pressure back. This is exactly what this player did and I was able to get off a shot with my sniper. Now after I hit the shot, the fort was on one layer which is perfect. I shot it out to avoid him from healing. As the circle came in, I now have potentially cancelled his heal and he's got to push towards me. I now set up and wait for this player to start pushing in. He's forced to keep moving towards me because the circle hurts a lot. So all you want to do is keep spraying at your opponent. If he somehow ends up building a few layers of support, then watch out because he might get ready for a snipe. Now this player only had one wall in front of him, so there was not much thickness to his cover. 
And if you guys don't know what I mean by a few layers, basically if he's got enough time to back up and build himself a few materials backwards. That way you have to pierce through a few layers before he's vulnerable. This allows him to line up a shot on you and you won't even know it. So look for those layers. Well guys, that's it for this full gameplay guide. Hope it can help some people out. And a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated as it does help me out a lot. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day and night and I'll see you on the next one.